Hey everybody, Brett with DJI. We have our latest product, RS3 Mini. When you get this thing out of the box, you're gonna get your gimbal, tripod, and then this little teeny piece. There's two locking positions, one for storage and one for balancing your gimbal. So the first thing to do is get these things unlocked and get these things ready for um, balancing. So a few things, one, these arms have uh, locks on them and there are three different areas where they're locked. This top motor, this one, and then this one. So we'll unlock, move it out, re-engage the lock and it will be kind of free floating for a second until you snap it into its next okay. sort of position like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to attach our little quick release plate to the bottom of our camera system here. When you install this, try to install it with the camera plate as far forward as you can um, move it and then just tighten it down using the thumb screw. Now we need to put it into uh, the gimbal body. So where this camera icon is, so we're just gonna insert it from the front into the back. There's actually like safety switches that would prevent this from completely falling loose. We'll slide it all the way back and we'll use this lever on the side to lock the camera into place. The next thing to do on here um, when you put your camera on is actually this red lever here on the bottom. What we're gonna do is, this if we loosen this, this actually allows us to kind of slide the camera back and forth. We're gonna slide it as far up against this motor that we can get it and then lock that down. So now that those levers are locked, we're just about ready to balance. There's three motors on here. There's a tilt motor here, a roll motor on the back, and a panning motor on the bottom. And we're gonna balance this in that order. So, or the easiest way to remember is top to bottom. This is a three-step process for balancing. So starting with this first motor, we're gonna unlock the tilting axis. On RS3 Mini, it's this switch right here. So with one hand, we're gonna kinda hold the thing still. If it starts falling, it's likely that it's not balanced properly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by aiming the camera straight forward and the lens straight forward and simply let go. Anytime the camera falls in one direction, we simply need to move it in the opposite direction until it stays perfectly level. The way to do that is to use this lever up here. So lift up and then slide this thing back and then I'm gonna lock that down with the lever. Aim it straight forward, let go and repeat. Now one more tip real quick before we finish balancing this. If we're using something like a zoom lens on this gimbal, what I recommend doing is actually setting your focal length in the middle between your total range, which is what we're already doing. If we were to set this all the way uh, at telephoto or all the way wide and balance, later on while, while we're shooting, if we were to zoom in or out, it might throw the balance off and affect the performance. So if we set it in the middle, now the change from 50 to 70 is small, and same with 50 to 24. So let's resume balancing. Point forward, let go. We need to move it opposite way. And as we get closer and closer to balancing, smaller and smaller adjustments become um, more important. The first step is just to get close. That's close enough for my liking, it's not perfect. Our next step is to point this thing straight up and balance from here. And then we're gonna go back and fix this kind of little mistake. So, and we're gonna lift up to get rid of some of the, the slack. If we lift it up a little bit, it becomes much easier to slide this thing. Loosen that lever there, keep your hand nearby, and let go. So, as we make our adjustments, we'll periodically point up, let go, and I can, I can already tell it's falling back, we need to keep moving. And I think, well, that's, that's about it. So we'll lock that down. We're gonna go back to pointing this forward and we're gonna let go. It's perfectly normal that this is pretty out of balance at this point. All we need to do is make a small adjustment, move the weight of this forward. Um, by the time we go back to step two, everything should be pretty perfectly balanced. So now we're level, right? Point it up and we should be pretty good there too. That's good enough in my book. Now we go top to bottom, so we're gonna go with the second motor, the roll axis. The uh, lock for unlocking is on the bottom side and we're gonna let go and we can see it's falling in one direction, move it in the other one. Same thing as before, we'll loosen the lever, we're gonna lift our camera up and start sliding this arm. We're gonna periodically point forward and let go and check to see if we're getting closer and that's, that is also pretty good. I'll take it. So now that roll axis is done. The last axis to worry about is the panning axis on the bottom. The way to do this, we're gonna unlock using the switch down here. With the tripod mount on and this on a flat and level surface, we're gonna take our product, we're gonna tilt it into kind of one of these like legs or gaps, and we're going to aim it forward and let go. And what I can see here is it's kind of like being pushed like this way. 
And that means that there's too much weight on the front side. We simply need to move that weight backwards. So we'll loosen the lever that's found on the bottom of the arm right here. We'll make adjustments. And this one is very easy to move. Point the camera forward and it's rotating to the right. Make an adjustment and we'll periodically check our work. That'll be good enough for filming. All right, so now one last thing to do. So make sure everything is unlocked when you're ready to start shooting. We're gonna power the unit on, push and hold the power button. Now we need to fine tune the motor strength of our camera setup. Just tapping this icon on the top left of the screen. It's gonna bring up the auto tune menu. Press start calibration. Make sure this is on a flat level surface. Take your hands off of it, let it do its thing. It's gonna vibrate and at the end, it's gonna make a really loud noise, which is perfectly normal that and that's it you're pretty much good to go this is the perfect gimbal for anybody looking to experiment with video and as you can see it's got quite the payload capacity so right here we have the Canon R5 the 24 to 70 lens so despite its low price it's not compromising in terms of performance it has all the hardware included in order to turn your camera to a vertical position, which is fantastic. We are going to lock down each axis so we can get this prepared for vertical shooting. So to lock something down, again, even if it's not in position, just engage the lock and then rotate it into a position and it will automatically latch in, yes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our camera from here first. So we do that by sliding this lever loose here. You can slide our camera forward while holding it, push the button to remove the safety lever and our camera's off. So for vertical shooting, there's a few, few um, pieces we kind of need to take care of. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this camera mounting plate. And the way to do that is to loosen with the red lever. There's a safety latch on the backside designed to prevent it from falling off. So once it's loosened, we'll push and hold the lever and slide this piece off. Now the next step, this arm down here is designed to come off when you're shooting vertical. So the way to remove this arm is to loosen the arm down here completely. Just for showing you guys, I'm gonna unlock this. On the bottom side, you can see this little switch. So this is actually kind of holding this bar in place. So what I can do is I can pull that switch back to move that piece uh, out and then pull this bar off. And now it's been removed. So now I'm gonna move this back into um, its locked position. I'm going to install the camera plate again. I'm going to install it into this top portion up here where this kind of slot is. The way to do that is um, red lever and camera icon forward. And you can even see too that there's like red arrows that line up to make it easy to remember. We'll slide it onto this portion of the plate from the top down. And like before, it's got a safety latch to make sure it doesn't fall off and we're just gonna put it somewhere in there and tighten that down. The next step, just like before, is to insert our camera. And the way to do that is start by removing it from the front into the rear, tighten the lever down on the bottom, and now our camera is mounted vertically. Balancing is the exact same as it was before. Start from the top down. Because we've already balanced for this camera and lens, it's not gonna take quite as long. It usually is much faster. So we'll start by pointing it forward, put our hand on it, unlock the top most motor, the tilt motor, and let go. And you can see that it's already pretty close to balanced. We'll just loosen the lever, move it back just a teeny bit. Now that's pretty good already. Really, you only have to make a small adjustment here, and then you'll likely have to make a pretty big adjustment on the roll axis, and then you'll be good to go. Let's lock that off. We'll unlock the roll axis on the back, hold the camera forward, and let go. And you can see it's falling to the right, it's falling to one side, we gotta move it in the opposite direction. So we'll just loosen the lever, lift the camera up with our hand to kinda make it easier to make our adjustments and check our work. And there it is. That's, that's pretty darn good. You can check the panning axis. So again, you'd point this forward and then let go. Um, there's actually a little bit too much weight in the back right now. So we would simply loosen, move this forward just a touch and that's pretty decent. Not bad. And once you've done all that, Make sure everything's unlocked and you're pretty much ready to start filming. So because we were in standby mode, we'll double press the power button once more. It will re-engage the motors. Now, we're all set for vertical shooting. Yeah, yeah, vertical shooting. Come on down to Picture Line, check it out, get your hands on RS3 Mini. Welcome to the DJI world of gimbals.